Hello everyone, Odus here. I'm back with another vlog. Um, all right, so let's jump into it. So today, um, I wanted to talk about what's going on. I know the last two vlogs were intro and was gaming. Today, I'm going to be more political. Um, wanted to talk about you know what was going on in the Capitol building. Uh, I live in Silver Spring, which is like 30 minutes from D.C., 30 to 15 minutes from the Capitol, um, depending on traffic, obviously. And it's just uh, it's just kind of crazy what's going on. Um, I tend to lean more left when it comes to things. Uh, I do agree with some conservative beliefs, but most of the time I'm, I'm, I'm a progressive um, I do know there's like extreme leftists, which I do not align with, uh, but I am, I guess, center left is what you would call me. Um, and what I saw today was just, well, not today, but yesterday was just, uh, it's just, I, I don't know how people can justify something like that. Um, I get that anger could get to a point where if you feel that you're not being heard, you can, you know, can riot and loot and. They say riots are like the language of the oppressed, um, but these people are not oppressed. Uh, in my opinion, they're just misguided and manipulated to the point of believing that they are somehow the victims. Um, and the people telling them that are the people who are abusing them, which are, you know, as always, you know, rich narcissists tend to act conservative because conservative people tend to conform more which in turn leads to them being able to control large groups of people by telling them that all of their problems are caused by some minority or some ostracized group of people. Anyways, um, it's just, I wanted to talk about this one clip that I saw that was just utterly ridiculous of this, this, this man with no mask on during the middle of a fucking pandemic, walking into the Capitol building was a conservative, uh, not a conservative, a confederate flag. And another man right next to him holding the United States flag. Which is like, I mean, I, you know, I wasn't born here, but nearly everyone knows American history, like, regardless of where you are. And <laughs> the confederate flag, they will tell you that it's about, you know, modern day people that hold it, they tell you it's about southern pride or southern identity or southern uh, charm or whatever. They, they think that it's some sort of uh, a rebel flag <laughs> when it's the flag of the people who tried to secede because they didn't want to give up uh, slave, slavery in general. I mean, I'm, you know, branching in a lot of, like, political plot points, but generally, the conservatives didn't want to give slaves um, equal rights because they believed that slaves were beneath them. And on top of that, they the southern economy at the time was primarily um, cotton. Uh, it was primarily based on, like, you know, harvesting cotton. Cotton was a huge in demand uh, resource back then. Um, I mean, it still kind of is. A lot of people don't talk about it, but <laughs> anyways, that's a different topic for another time. And the majority of people that harvested cotton in the South were slaves. And you know, there were still some white people that harvested cotton, the poor ones, uh, which is ironic because the, the you know the kids of the poor ones are the ones that hold the Confederate flag. Uh, because they they somehow justify that since their ancestors didn't own slaves because they were too poor, you know, <laughs> people shouldn't blame them for slavery, which is like <clears throat> a whole other topic. Or right, long story short, it's a flag of secessionists and, and traitors who tried to leave the Union because they wanted to keep slavery going and they wanted to ensure their profits because you can't compete with free labor. That's why, you know, t tons of jobs are lost to outsourcing today. Um, anyways, um, but, you know, moral, morals versus money. So, and, you know, the union was in the side of the morals. I'm not saying they were clean cut. I'm not saying even after slavery, uh, you know, after the Civil War, black people were seen as equals. They weren't. 
up until what 60 70 years ago and even then there's still disparities between uh you know white people and black people but um I'm not I'm not here to talk about any of that that's that's just that goes in depth in depth not in depth <laughs> in depth about you know stuff that's going uh, about the history um but how do you as an American <laughs> Carry that flag into the Capitol building, the flag of secessionist slave owners, and 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 you carry it into the heart of the Union, which is the Capitol building, um, and 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 think that you're fighting for freedom, at, at the same time, harassing and attacking the same cops that you know you say that you know because these are the cops that they uh, they support. These are the cops that they're like, you know, blue lives matter, you know, all lives matter, black lives matter is a terrorist movement. And then you barge into the Capitol building with a, a secessionist treasonous flag while at the same time attacking the same cops that you call um, um, heroes. And and it's just it. I, I just I don't know how people process these things. I, I know that these people probably, you know, they don't have the best education. They probably, you know, they, they live in a spot where, you know, they're, they're isolated from the rest of the world. They usually think a certain way and they're not, you know, they don't challenge their own beliefs because it's easier to conform to the people around you. If you're surrounded by dumbasses, you're more than likely to become a dumbass because you're not willing to question your your ideas the you to question the things that you were thought to seek uh, other perspectives because that's that's the <laughs> cuz these people probably lived with you know their racist parents who hated black people and brown people and thought you know all their problems you know came from black and brown people which was enforced by rich white people because you know if a rich white person you know it's it's divide and conquer basically not the not the good ones. They're good rich people. I'm not trying to say all rich people are bad, but you know there are a good chunk of rich people that you know benefit off of your division. So you know they tell you that hey, this immigrant came from this desperate area and he's coming to this country and he's working for dirt, you know, for 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 nothing basically, and he's the one that that took your job. So you should hate him. They tell them that, and these poor, poor, you know, uneducated, well, no, I wouldn't say uneducated, they are educated, they just don't care about education, <laughs> they don't care about questioning their beliefs, they just more so care about conforming to, to, to the things they already know, and uh, and these people don't really question, they're like, hey, this rich white person, I want to be a rich white person, he's telling me these things, he must be right, you know, and I want to be like him, so I got to do what he says, and what he says is correct, and the irony is, like, the, the people hiring the immigrants that work for less money are the same people that are telling you to hate them and 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 you believe these people and 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 then you 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 do these like nonsensical things that just cause so much chaos and 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 all of this because you don't question what your thought and you don't seek to understand other people's perspectives and it's just yeah i just wanted to you know talk about that and i just wanted to, say, to just you know you know hammer in the fact of how ridiculous all of this is like a banner of slave owning secessionists in the capitol building held on by a person that thinks he's a freedom fighter <laughs> uh, harassing cops that a couple of weeks ago during the Black Lives Matter protests and the Trump protests, that he, the same cops that he supported and, and, and calling them traitors. And, and it's just, it's, it's hard to, ha to wrap your head around all the stupidity and just the, the craziness that's going on. And um, yeah, and I just wanted to, you know, I wanted to talk about that and, you know, talk about... <clears throat> how ridiculous the situation is um i'm not gonna go delve deep into like politics and conservatism and liberalism i mean liberals conservatism and and and, and you know progressive uh thinking um but um just generally this is just 
in my opinion. It's just it's ridiculous. And um, yeah, and I just wanted to talk about that today. You know, this topic might be a little bit too much um, for some people that are watching this or being right. But <laughs> any objective person can realize that this is just ridiculous. Like, if, if, okay, let me, let me, let me, let me try to make a, a sense of this. So, by giving a, a, an example, like a different example. Okay, so if in Nazi Germany, you know, there's the swastika, right? There's the flag of the Germans who were white supremacists. They're white nationalists. They hate anything brown. They, or black, um, or Jew, <laughs> which comes in different shades. <laughs> and Muslims, I don't know, but they didn't do... I, I'm not sure about the Nazi involvement with Muslims, but obviously they thought they were superior than everybody else, so it was coming. <clears throat> Anyways, um, so if modern-day Germany, like in Germany, I've lived in Germany for a little bit. Um, I wouldn't say I've lived there. I've, I visited for, for uh, almost two months. I stayed there. And in Germany, there's like a strict rule, which is basically if you found brandishing a Nazi flag, you are first given a warning. Keep doing it, you're fined. Keep doing it, you go to court, and you're fined again, which is a higher a higher fine than the one before. And if you keep doing it, you you're in prison. And 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 you know, that's something you know that that should happen in the U.S. Because the conservative and they're like you know the freedom, have freedom of speech. I can hold a burnish a Confederate flag if I wanted to. I can burnish a, a Nazi flag if I wanted to. And I, I, yeah, you should have the freedom to do that if you want to. You can be the freedom to be a dumbass. You can be a freedom. You have the freedom to be a racist. And I get that. And I would rather know a person's racist than you know having to figure out um, later on, which is you know it's better for me because if you're a racist and you know. You don't barnish a Confederate flag. You don't barnish a Nazi flag. I'll have to get to know you to figure that shit out first. But I would rather not have to do that. I would rather have you have, you know, I'd rather know that you're a racist by looking at you than, you know, associating myself with you, if, if, if that makes sense. But at the same time, the Southern argument is that, hey, we, we you know, we have, you know, these statues of great Confederate generals and slave owners because... You know, if we need to remember history. <laughs> Imagine if they said the same thing in Germany. Imagine if they had statues of Hitler or, you know, statues of people who um, r ran the, the concentration camps. Or statues of uh, German generals who slaughtered thousands of Americans and allied forces and Russians. Um, and, and, you know, you needed those statues to remember their history. You don't need the statues to remember somebody who was awful. You know, their deeds you know, are written in the history books. And it's not like you people like to read anyways. <laughs> so it's kind of like, it's not about history. You don't care about history. The thing that you care about is the thing that you feel inside, which is the thing that you've been thought since you were a kid, which is you should be proud about things that happened in the past that weren't in your control. And that have caused a lot of pain and suffering to other people. <clears throat> um, anyways, um, I'm just trying to, you know, give an example of how that would be read. Um, if Germans today marched uh, into Berlin holding a Nazi flag next to the German flag, the German Republic's flag, which is like, the world would go crazy. The world would go because of World War Two. The Russians would go crazy. The fucking British would go crazy. They would, they would, uh, you know, that would be something that's, that wouldn't happen because they understand that the, the, the flag is associated with things that have caused a lot of people a lot of pain and hardship. If you want a southern flag that's supposed to represent southern culture and southern pride, make a new fucking flag. <laughs> make a new flag. Not a flag that's associated with slavery. Not a flag that's associated with pain and hardship. But a flag that is new. And that is, you know, representative of Southern culture today. Like, fucking make a flag uh, that has a truck on it. Or guns. Or a fucking eagle. Or fried chicken, for fuck's sake. 
don't use the old confederate flag, which is because the old confederate flag is a flag of racism. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> it's just, uh, yeah, it's something that I wanted to get off my shoulders today. Uh, and I wanted to talk about. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, let me cool down a bit. Um, I know the next couple of, uh, the next two weeks is going to be crazy. Um, these people are probably going to be coming until January 20, until Trump leaves office, if he ever ends up leaving office. Um, it's just a crazy thing to say about American, America. Um, but, um, you know, it's not something that shouldn't be, a, uh, you know, shouldn't, you shouldn't expect. Because Trump is the same type of man that takes money off of poor white people and tells them to fucking hate minorities. He is that. He's that. You elected him and, you know, he, he took away Obamacare, which affects a lot of white people. You know, he's a he's part of a party that, you know, basically gave you, what, uh, $2,000 for an entire year and told you to survive. And it was who... I just don't want to get into that today. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. And... Um, yeah, and God save America. <laughs> and hopefully these couple of days will be calmer. Um, and, you know, I'm near the Capitol building, so I kind of witnessed these things firsthand. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and I just wanted to share my thoughts about it. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> this video is a bit longer than my other videos. Um, and, you know, I hope it grabs your attention long enough and you can see what I'm, you know, my perspective is and, you know, and leave whatever you're thinking in the comments below if you ever, if anybody's watching these videos. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.